we will learn about assets and bases in this video. We will learn the definition of assets and bases, the various definitions, and also learn the factors which govern the strength of assets and bases. There are different definitions for assets and bases. The first one is the Arrhenius definition. According to the Arrhenius definition, assets lose hydrogen ions in solution. That means if I have an acid hydrochloric acid, in solution, it will be as hydrogen ion and chloride ions. Because it gives hydrogen ions in solution, HCl is an acid. Same way, bases, the definition, Arrhenius definition of bases is, it loses hydroxide ions in solution. Or in other words, NaOH gives you Na plus plus OH minus. The OH minus makes NaOH as a base. But this definition cannot be applied to all the acids and bases. So we have the second definition called as the bronsted lorry definition. In this case, acids donate a proton. Just note the difference. In the previous case, it loses the hydrogen. In this case, it, we say it donates a proton. As uh, written there, hydrochloric acid reacts with water. Since hydrochloric acid donates one of its hydrogen to water, and water becomes H3O+, and hence HCl is an acid. And for bases, Previously, we said it should lose a hydroxide, but a compound like ammonia has no hydroxide. So, we applied the bronsted lorry definition for it. For example, if ammonia, when it when it's put into water, it takes up a proton and forms NH4 plus and gives OH ions in solution. So, in a way, this definition combines both the Arrhenius and the bronsted lorry, but we will be able to define more compounds whichever accepts a proton as a base. And the third definition is called as the Lewis definition. In the Lewis definition, we define in terms of electrons. Acid is a substance which accepts electrons and base is a substance which donates electrons. For example, if you consider BF3, if you recollect in one of the earlier chapter, you learned that in the Lewis structure, the boron has not completed its octet and it needs two more electrons to complete its octet. And ammonia has an extra lone pair and therefore when both of them come together, the two lone pairs of ammonia gets donated to BF3. So ammonia loses its electron, therefore it acts as a base. BF3 accepts electron, therefore it acts as an acid. So this kind of definition, we call it as the Lewis acid and Lewis base. So, ammonia, we can call it as a Lewis acid and BF3, sorry, ammonia, we can call it as a Lewis base and uh, BF3, we call it as a Lewis acid. So, how to remember what donates and what accepts? Uh, just uh, remember this, acid accepts electron, A, A, E, all of them are vowels. So, remember one of them, automatically you can derive the uh, answer for the uh, definition for base also. It is necessary that all the three definitions are applied somewhere to define an acid or a base. Sometimes we need, we will define it using Arrhenius definition, we might use using Lewis definition or we might use bronsted lorry definition to define an acid and a base. So now let's see the factors which govern the strength of an acid. The first one is strength of the acid decreases with increase in bond, bond strength. This is mainly for the HA type of acids, that is uh, acids like HF, HCl, HI and all. And the second point is, it also increases as you go down in a group. Like HF is on top of the group, as you go down, I get HCl, HBr, HI and hence HF is less stronger than HCl, is less stronger than HBr, is less stronger than HI. And the third point is, larger the electronegativity of the central atom, stronger is the acid. So, the example for this is, if, uh, if you are comparing the oxo acid, HClO3, HPRO3 and HiO3, Cl is more electronegative than Br, than I, hence the acid HClO3 is stronger than HPRO3 and HiO3. And the fourth point which governs the strength of the acid is the larger the oxidation state of the central atom, stronger the acid, mainly applicable to the oxo acids. 
for example um uh, we will take up the example and uh, coming slide and the fifth point is larger the value of the k stronger is the asset for example h of the value of ka is 6.6 to the power of negative 4 and h of it is and hcn it is 6.2 to the power of negative 10 and hence h of is stronger than hcn let's uh, take some examples on oxo assets the first one is oxo assets with different central atoms see oxo assets with different central atom we know that larger the electronegativity of the central atom the bond between o and h will be weaker and hence can be lost easily and therefore the acid will be stronger so consider the example of hclo3 hbro3 and hio3 cl is more electronegative than br is more electronegative than i and hence hclo3 is stronger than hbro3 and hio3 in this group of oxo acids fluorine is not considered because it doesn't form an oxo acid as it cannot expand its octet if you compare the trend in the acid strength of oxo acid this is reverse as compared to the ha type of acid in the ha type of acid ha is stronger than hbr is stronger than hcl so the oxo acid strength is different let's consider the second group of oxo acids oxo acids with same central atom and uh, in this case acid strength increases with increase in oxidation number of the central atom for example if you consider uh, perchloric acid hclo4 hclo3 hclo2 and hclo hclo4 with an oxidation state of 7 is stronger than hclo3 with an oxidation state of plus 3 plus 5 and hclo2 has an oxidation state of plus 3 and hclo an oxidation state of plus 1 is the weakest of all the uh, oxo acids So we've been talking about the strength of the acid. Let's see how do we quantitatively measure the strength of an acid. We use a term called as Ka. For example, if they, if you can represent the dissociation of an acid as Ha giving H plus and A minus, the equilibrium can be written as Ka concentration of H positive concentration of A minus divided by H A. The value of Ka will depend on the amount of H plus we have. and the strength of the acid depends on the amount of h plus we have so therefore ka is basically the measure of how strong an acid so in general if the value of ka is large the acid will be stronger so if you look at the table over there you see that h2so3 with a value of 1.3 to the power of negative 2 is definitely stronger than hcn with a ka value of 6.2 to the power of negative 10 and uh, compare the two oxo acids hclo and hclo2 and you see that we just now learned that hclo2 with a larger oxidation state is stronger than hclo and ka also supports it and uh, again when you compare the oxo acids hoi hobr and hclo we learned that larger the electronegativity of the central atom stronger is the acid and it is supported by the value of ka with hclo having the largest ka so uh, larger the ka stronger the acid so this is all for weak acids so what happens to strong acids strong acids we have uh, seven of them in the it's given in the table hcl hbr hi hno3 sulfuric acid hclo3 hclo4 these are strong acids and they ionize completely and there is no equilibrium so we don't have a value of ka for these strong acids let's just deal with the strength of bases now similar to acids bases also ionize in the presence of water to give you hydroxide ion as shown and the equilibrium can be represented as bh plus oh minus divided by the concentration of p and as uh, discussed earlier the value of kb will determine how strong the base is so larger the value of kb stronger will be the base so according to the table given you can see that ethylamine uh, with a, a kb of 5.6 tend to the power of negative 4 is stronger than urea as you go down in the table uh, with a kb of 1.5 tend to the power of negative 14 therefore the rule is larger the value of kb stronger will be the base similar to strong acids 
the eight strong bases they ionize completely and hence we don't have an equilibrium for them and therefore we don't have a kb value for them therefore uh, sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide the first group hydroxides the calcium hydroxide barium hydroxide and the strontium hydroxide are the strong bases and have no value for kb let's uh, do some questions based on whatever we have learned so far so the first one is arrange these acids in the increasing order of strength the acid given is hih2s water h2sc and hcl so the rule we are going to follow is acid strength increases as you go down in a group so based on that we will see that water is the a uh, least uh, acidic of all these and hi is the strongest of all these and the second one is identify the stronger acid base in the given pairs so the first pair given is hclo4 and hclo2 so if you look at this they are an oxo acid and in an oxo acid larger the oxidation state of the central atom stronger is the acid therefore hclo4 is the answer the second one h2co3 h2so3 So again an oxo acid here the central atom is different therefore you have to consider the electronegativity of the central atom sulfur being more electronegative than carbon h2so3 is stronger than h2co3 and hoi and hob are oxo acids with different central atom therefore we consider the electronegativity therefore hobr is stronger than hoi hf and hpr it's an ha type of acid so the acid strength increases as you go down the group and hence hbr is stronger than hf so in the group of ch3 nh2 and ammonia the kb value is given and since the kb of uh, methylamine is uh, larger than uh, that of ammonia ch3 nh2 methylamine is a stronger base and naoh and nh4oh definitely noh is a stronger base because it's a strong base it comes into the group of strong base 